Let's do the photos of the week. Okay, so we've come screaming into the weekend and let's start the photos of the week off this week with some birds! And this here apparently is a pest, the Eastern Rosella. We get them here through the valley where we live. They love to come and sit in the apple tree and eat the apples. But apparently, they came over from Australia, they're a pest. Not like the Pia Waka Waka. What a cute little guy. <laughs> The pest! I can't see how it can be a pest when it's so colourful. It does not compute. A few seagulls. I guess if an eastern rosella is a pest, then maybe a seagull is too. And we're going to finish off this series with Brainy. Little Brainy, I was just testing out my new RF 50mm lens. It's not great, to be honest. And then here are some early morning shots, like early morning. You know, like early morning, when the normal world's still sleeping. But sometimes it's good just to go out because you tend to have the whole city to yourself. And on this particular morning, I was just taking some light shots, uh, long exposure shots here. Uh, with the wide angle lens, everything looks skewed and distorted, but um, interesting perspective. And right now it's autumn around here, or fall whatever you like to call it. But the thing I love about autumn or fall is the colors. They're so rich and varied, and it's just great for photography. The only problem with fall is it only lasts a few weeks. And like I often say, life is a window. It all just depends on what side you're looking from. And then around this time too, we do get some lovely sunsets. My favorite sunset of all time was 22nd of April, 2018. Uh, how do I remember that? I'm not even sure. Can I find a photo of it? No. But I really like the depth and the character in these moody clouds here. And then it was back to the walk to work. Yeah, I see it all the time. That's because we get up, we go to work, we come home, we get up, we go to work, we come home, we get up, we... you get the picture. But the one thing about walking to work is it does give me the opportunity to appreciate our lovely harbour, Te Whanganui Atala, and take some photos of the people taking photos, uh, the sun reflecting off the buildings around me. So it's always really cool because it just keeps your head up, keeps your eyes open, uh, thinking about opportunities to take photos, looking for colour, looking for character in the sky. I love it when there's a bit of cloud cover and there's good character in the clouds. It just adds more dimension and depth to your photos. And so I'm always looking out for that. And then back down to solace in the wind. Just as I see the sun coming up over the corner of that apartment building there, it's usually great to just capture it coming out across the corner. Get some lovely, warm, rich shots. This one here with a bit of a sunburst. You have to stop down to get the sunburst. Remember, if you want that, you need to stop your aperture down. You can't shoot wide open. And this is one of my favorite shots from the walk to work this week because of the deep fiery orange hues and the reflection on the water in front. And this one here is my favorite photo for photos from the week. And it's a totally natural phenomenon. There's no trickery involved here. It's just a hole in the clouds and it funneled the sun down right into Hallswell Point right there on the end of Watts Peninsula. So I'm always looking out for rays and beams, but this is probably the most directed beam I've ever seen from the sun through a little hole in the cloud just poking down. And that there, my friends, is it. That's the photos of the week. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Hey, have a good weekend. Bye.